the members, it is LPG speaking right here and welcome to my new Jurassic World Alive video. How are you Raptor members doing? It's it's Monday, but I missed the weekend upload for Jurassic World Live. My bad, but I've been preparing for other dinosaur game uh, gameplays, etc, etc, etc. But if you don't know, I'm, I'm Golden Air, with the very Jurassic World Cut Possible. I upload Jurassic World Live videos every single weekend and Jurassic World the game and evolution throughout the week. So if you have subscribed yet, please do swipe in around the corner that subscribe and bell button to get notified for dinosaur and Jurassic World content every single day. Yes! So, we have all the lovely members that you see right here. So, if you want to join my alliance, uh, go ahead, uh, go, go, go ahead. Maybe uh, you will be accepted. But you gotta donate that DNA for that interactor for me. That's what you gotta do. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, already, um, you know it. I like this video already because um, this is another theory video uh, of mine that I'm going to do right here that I normally do in Jurassic World the game, but sometimes I do it in Jurassic World Alive as well. And that is the long-awaited idea that um, that I didn't come up with, but a lot of people have throughout the year that this game, uh, because they just had the one-year anniversary for this the existence of this game, uh, but throughout the year, people, because a lot of Jurassic World the game players went to Jurassic World Live, a lot of people wanted the evolutions of level 10, level 20, well, we have the 10, the first evolution, aka level 1 to level 10 in Jurassic World the game in uh, Jurassic World Live, but a lot of people wanted uh, the second evolution, third and fourth, which is level 11 to level 20, uh, 21 to 30, and 31 to 40 in Jurassic World Live, but is not possible. They did not implant that into their game. Why not? Because well, I could kind of understand that they did, didn't want the evolutions in here to keep it more realistic based, even though it's, yeah, I don't know, but it would make sense if you play this game. On the other hand, a lot of people wanted it as well, along with me, and it could be, what if I tell you it could be possible? Now with the boosters, um, in the recent uh, uh, latest updates, we received these stat boosts that, okay, well, then you're going to quit on me, and I launched up the wrong game. <laughs> Jurassic World the game. <laughs> it's going to be a Jurassic World the game videos, guys. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this episode. <laughs> We're moving back to Jurassic World Live. See, I implanted an uh, idea from Jurassic World the game into it alive, and alive is like, no. We cannot accept that. <laughs> you go back to G GWTG. <laughs> they can sense when I'm <laughs> breaking or giving new ideas on the game. <laughs> whatever, which one is bad or whatever one is good. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? Yes, now with the beautiful stat boosts. Um, if I click Indominus, if it actually works, hello, yes, don't interrupt me again, please work. If it doesn't work, we're gonna have a huge problem. We're gonna have a huge problem. It's loading, Indominus is loading, Doctor Who stole my Indominus Rex. Okay, here it is. So we have these boosts right here, so I'm at level, uh, no, what, tier 3. So these boosts can be possible, along with the evolutions. So maybe in the future with um, the stat boosts, you could get different colors for your dinosaurs. I wouldn't, uh, maybe the same kind of colors that we have in Jurassic World the game, since that is uh, a more easier skin texture uh, export into this game. Um, maybe, I don't know, they don't have the same mechanics, but uh, it could work more easily to uh, then, rather than creating uh, entire new designs for your dinosaurs. Uh, this idea might sound a bit dull and uh, a bit phony, but uh, it's some. It could work to make your dinosaur um, stand out from other dinosaurs. Because whenever I'm battling against the uh, Indominus Rex, I kind of feel bored. Oh, uh, there we have the normal Indominus Rex again and uh, its skin, and oh, uh, there we have the normal Indoraptor and the Stegoceratops, uh, Draco Dracoceratops, which it needs to be banned. But anyway, it's not the point. But they can add it with the boost. So let's say you reach tier four. Uh, you get the second evolution in Jurassic World game design of Indominus Rex in Jurassic World Alive. I think that would make it even better, these stat boosts, because a lot of people don't like these stat boosts, saying, oh, it's unfair, a lot of people have a lot of stat boosts and I don't, and etc, etc, so the battles would be unfair and it's not about trophies anymore and stuff like that, but 
when you um, implement these skins, a lot of people will like them more when you actually put different kind of variations in them and make these stat boosts even more special than they're supposed to be. I think that would be a lot more fun to have with these stat boosts. And then when you reach tier, I don't know, six, you get the third one because uh, it multiplies by two. So it would need a lot of stat boost uh, points, I guess. I don't know what to call them, but you'll get that. Let me know what you think of that idea now in the comments box below. And I'll leave you guys to the theory with that. Anyway, so um, I'm loving you guys in my Jurassic World Alive because I'm b trying to get Thoradalosaur, uh, one of my favorite super hybrids in Jurassic World Alive. And um, I'm almost there, level 18, and you've all given me a lot of Tarbosaurus DNA and recently unlocked, without you guys, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, where is he? Yes or she? Uh-oh. Smilodon, yes, a beautiful saber tooth cat. Amazing. So, uh, Visa Strike, a Prisons of Pounds, and Prowl. Quite, I don't know, I've battled against a Smilodon with my Interruptor before. And a lot of people have like level 25 smiler dolls already. I'm like, where do you, where does that DNA come from? How did you get that? But anyways, yes, all level three incubators. You're my beautiful alliance. Thank you all. Congovenator, and then we have the most precious one that I need because we need to level up our beautiful. Forgot the word Ceratops into Thorodolosaur, so yes, this is helping as well. Can already upgrade one to get some coin. And I upgraded my Indoraptor, <laughs> aka myself, as you will speak, to level 23 with a lot of stab boosts, which is uh, kind of overpowered. So yeah, Rampage almost does 3k damage. That is, that is a lot of damage. Yes, that is a lot of damage. So can I actually request? Yes! So, um, of course, every week I do a little shout out for the ones who donated the most. And let's see who donated in this one. It's Silver and Mouth. Thank you. Um, so, so you guys are just amazing. A lot, along with, hello, we have a new member. Uh, if, yeah, okay. So I'll make some exceptions when you, when you want to join, so when your lowest stat is where uh, if you could donate a benefit other players but they will benefit you as well but we need some good players now in our team if clan wars that i um discussed in my uh latest previous Jurassic world live video if you haven't checked out that there's a alliance versus alliance theory episode there we need good players but we have some sorry maybe next time i'm 10th place in my own alliance from like 50 guys which is all girls i don't know <laughs> Did cause it just to shape each other again? Yes, I do it all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, my team is okay, I believe. I just need to get uh, a better herbivore than Stegoceratops. Even though Stegoceratops is quite an incredible and strong dinosaur. Uh, but yes, where was I? Yes, of oh course, you almost forgot the shout outs. Yes, Silver, this, this person has donated, I think, the most to me, which I highly appreciate. So, Silver, thank you very much. Along with a bluey, they both are uh, incredibly awesome. Oh, a little dormant. That is pretty good. <laughs> and uh, Mart as well. Thank you very much. Along with Sean, he donated a lot recently. Those are the three top guys: Sean, Bluey, and Silver. The top three donators. Along with um, Le Oliveira, I believe you donated as well. Uh, Diamond. Uh, I think Mosey and Toast as well. Um, Cyber Dragon again, thank you, and that's about it actually. I think, and whom um, S, I believe. Sorry if I forgot your name, but I just see the most common, the, the, the most names that I see frequently donated to me that I remember the most. But, anyways, where was I? Yes, I'm going to actually look on my world, world map to see if anything's there. Actually, it's a lot of lag there, and I'm not even located here. Why are there so many pterosaurs? <laughs> Oh, no cool event though. Oh well, you know what that means. Battle time. Jurassic Ruins new map. Let's go. Jurassic Ruins. Let's see what our opponent is going to have. Can I see my... Ooh, okay. Let's, let's start with Indominus Rex. Alright, Indominus. Let's see what you have. Oh, nice opponent. Cannot defeat us. Let us do the cloak. 
Amazing. What are you gonna do? Critical impact. What is wrong with Indominus? What, what is going on? No, no. I can cue in that. Of course, the person has to have a, a Lang Carlos. When not? Of course. I'm gonna be fast. 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 I was faster. Yes! Critical! Give it to him! See? A Lang Carlos. Oh! You don't scare me. Yes! Okay, and now, have a taste of my own <laughs> Alang Carlos. <laughs> A taste of your own medicine. There you go. So what I'm gonna do now, of course, is you're going for the uh, instant thingy jig. No, you're not. Okay, critical impact actually did not work. We're gonna have the speed with a critical. Thank you. You're going for the instant charge. So I will do this one a again if you do not mind. Don't be stunned. Yes! Amazing! Thank you. That's how you knock it down. So, we're going for the Rampage right now. It's probably going to switch into the worst dinosaur in this game. What's new? What is new? Okay, so I'm going to switch it. No. Ah, uh, boy. Okay. Try Astronics. You gotta help me. Okay? You got to help me. So, um, I think I could do that actually. Let's just do a ready to crush. No, I'm still going to have the speed advantage. And you're about to die. That's what's about to happen. No, you can have your regeneration. But it's no use. You are dead. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you take it then. And now your beautiful spinal tattoo. That you cannot do your thing. Uh, uh oh. But it still could kill me. It can still kill me. Okay, Stiggy, you gotta help me. Stiggy's gotta help me. You can't one kill a Stiggy. It's not allowed. Remember. Oh boy, that was a beautiful impact. Yeah, no. Please, Stiggy, don't be over 900. Okay, that's good. And now we're going for the instant charge. Now you guys, it's going to switch. It's not going to switch, and we have won, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. That's the first win on camera for Gozzy. Yay! Stiggy's well! <laughs> Let's get a GG for Stiggy in the chat. Let's go! Everyone hates Stiggy in this game. I've never seen anyone battle with a level 20 Stiggy. Everyone's got Paramolic. Ugh! Get it out of my face. Stiggy's where it's at. And Stiggy, you are awesome. You should, you should, okay. Well, that, my, <laughs> Stiggy, I was about to give you a compliment. Anyway, so yeah, I guess this is where I have to end this video. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, let me know what you think of my theory that I mentioned earlier down in the comments box below. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed it. And subscribe and notifications on. Hit that bell button, please do, to get notified for Dinosaur and Jurassic World content every single day if you haven't already. With that being said, everyone's going to have a great day and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye guys, Alpha Interruptor, out.